Hi, I'm Steve Cameron, and this is the cycle cart that I'm building. Um, I figured now that it's more or less complete, except for cosmetic things, it's drivable. I'd talk about it a little bit, uh, rather than just specific parts of it like I've talked about before. Um, the basic idea of a cycle cart is it's an adult-sized go-kart, which is made to look something like a race car from the 1920s. Uh, it's got a plywood body. Um, the wheels and whatnot are bolted onto the body, held on by these steel frame rails, which are made of uh, one by three inch square steel tubing. Uh, let's look at the front end of this thing a little bit. Uh, the front axle is made by made from uh, one and five eighths inch steel tubing like this bent on a pipe bender like this and cut and these uh, spindles are regular go-kart parts from Azusa welded on uh, the wheels are one of the trickier items to find with a cycle cart these are uh, 17 inch wheels off a of Honda CT90 or Honda Trail 90 they're a little bit hard to find uh, you don't have to use these wheels the main criteria for the wheels is that you should be able to put a three-quarter inch axle through the wheel and have room left over for bearings. The bearings, in this particular case, I got from VXB.com. They're 27 millimeter inner, let's see, they are, I forget the dimensions, slightly larger on the inside than three-quarter inch. The outside is a perfect fit for the wheel. I think it's 37 millimeter outer diameter, 27 millimeter inner diameter. Um, the springs are buggy seat springs. I got them from uh, from some Amish people up in Connecticut, I think. Uh, so you can look up buggy seat springs on the internet and you'll find people selling buggy seat springs. Now, some of the buggy seat springs, they're sort of... Uh, you might have to buy a set because they're not all the same. Um, or they come in they come in sets of two but each of the two is not the same so if you want matching you have to buy two sets uh, and they the mounting is a little bit different you can see here this is part of the spring which is different than this uh, these are just mounted to the axle with regular u-bolts uh, typically used for exhaust on you know real cars this bottom part the square part was fabricated um, the steering parts are just uh, regular go-kart parts, but I had to cut these one of these rods and thread it uh, with a, a tap and die, which is not that big of a deal. Um, this radiator is just wood covered with aluminum flashing material. Let's look inside. This is the steering column, which is a regular go-kart steering column. Uh, I did have to lengthen it by cutting it and then putting this pipe in and welding it. Um, here's the, the brake pedal, which goes back to a brake in the rear. Here is the throttle, which is connected by a cable to the engine in the rear. Um, all this stuff was fabricated. Steering wheel is just a regular go-kart steering wheel. This is just a switch for 12 volts. You do have to be careful that uh, the contacts are far enough apart that this spark won't jump, so you can't just use any old switch there. Um, brakes, this is an Earhart disc brake. Uh, you can get this from Northern Tool. The bearings here are just regular go-kart bearings. You can see I had to cut a hole in that steel uh, frame rail. I did that with a hole saw, believe it or not. Um, this is the transmission from the engine. Uh, this is a Comet torque converter. You can get also a GTC torque converter because uh, I think Comet went out of business but GTC makes them now. Uh, I think this is a 72 inch or 72 tooth 12 inch sprocket. Inside here a 10 tooth sprocket. A regular go-kart chain. Um, almost all of this uh, drivetrain is regular go-kart parts. Uh, this hub here is um, 
from an ATV hub from Northern Tool drilled out to accept these uh, grade 8 steel bolts that go through the wheels. Now, if you use other than the Honda wheels, you may have trouble finding mating this up. I mean, this mates up pretty much perfectly to the Honda wheels. You do have to grind off some of the bolts a little bit to get it to fit, but otherwise it's a great fit. This is my steer, uh, speedometer uh, transmitter. Uh, let's see. Engine is a six and a half horsepower Honda. They do make uh, Chinese clone engines for considerably cheaper, uh, but rumor has it the crankshaft in the Honda's a little better balanced and it has less vibration. I don't know if that's true or not, but for what it's worth, uh, let's see. And here's the grill cart steering wheel. I did make this uh, on a CNC uh, plasma cutter at TXRX Labs, and eventually this will be my new steering wheel, but not yet. Um, let's see what else I guess that's about it um, so should you build one of these things hell yeah you should build one of these things you may be thinking well Steve I don't know how to weld I don't have a welding machine I don't know how to do all this stuff well if you if you happen to live in Houston you should definitely come check out TXRX labs because those guys will help you out a lot and I'm a member down there and I will help you out a lot if you live in Houston and you and we can build one of these things they will teach you how to weld they have welding machines they have a plasma cutter they have all kinds of tools everything you would need to build one of these things they've got it down there so you don't have an excuse about no tools or don't know how to do it because if you live in Houston or actually any city go to your local hackerspace look it up on hackerspaces.org and those guys will tell you how to do everything you know to do to build one of these little cars. And it's a lot of fun. So, don't let me be the only one in Houston with a damn cycle cart.